Hello everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the book Caroline by Sarah Miller and when I first read the synopsis for this book, to me it sounded like a very interesting concept. This is basically kind of revisiting the Little House on the Prairie novels and TV show and this documents, or not, I guess documents, that it tells the story of the Ingalls family, Laura, Mary, Charles, and Caroline, as they go from Missouri, no, no, Wisconsin, sorry, Wisconsin to Kansas, and they're having to go by wagon, and they're leaving everything behind. They have family there, and so they're leaving everything behind, and that to me sounded like a really interesting concept. Um, Caroline is the mother and she's having to hold everything, help her husband hold everything together. And that just sounds a really interesting concept and a different time and everything. So I was really intrigued whenever I got this book from Audible. But then I started reading and there really wasn't a lot going on. Um, it was mostly just, most of the chapter is, most of the book is just a long journey because they're having to put everything pretty much that they own foodstuffs and things like that into a wagon and they're transporting it all um so they have their family their small family and they're transferring it to you know to the to another state and this was back in the day when cities like they're going across country on the middle of nowhere and but a lot of stuff isn't happening in this book not not really interesting stuff um and she usually writes a lot of good novels so i think this was one of her worst ones that i've read um but one thing i did like about the book is about the historical parts of it um just learning about what they had to do to survive and basically just to live it was just a, a harder life than we have it now like just they had to pack they had to pack up food for example to, on their trip or on their trip and use it because they couldn't just go to the nearest restaurant and and eat something on the way they had to save th they had to use food like you know have food stuffs packed and preserved to take it with them and just they had to say they saved everything they used everything that they needed to and it's just different from today when we have more of a wasteful society and also the you know the even they didn't even have like running water or like toilets and things that we take for granted they didn't even have um which I, to me that sounded found that sounded interesting because i didn't know sometimes you forget when things were invented because they've been around so long you forget when things were invented so i was like oh wait they didn't have toilets back then <laughs> reading um but overall the the plot of this book is really boring it's mostly their journey to Kansas and then a year their first year in Kansas so I don't know I just didn't like this book as much um, I think it would be good for a maybe a class to read maybe if you have a if you're a teacher and you have a, a history class for maybe younger kids like um, sixth seventh grade I know we read a lot of historical books when I was in sixth and seventh grade and I really enjoyed that it was just a different way to learn history maybe go through it with your students but overall I didn't really like the plot of this book um, which I think is really sad because she usually writes some really good stuff and I am gonna read we read some of her stuff I have read stuff in the past that got me interested in her writing so I am gonna read more of her stuff the the Miss Spitfire was really good, and then I also read a book called The Lost Crown by her about the Romanov sisters, so I will be reading that on this channel soon, so I'm not completely giving up on her, 
And um, if, if I don't like a book, don't take my word for it. I could be completely wrong. You might like this book. I'm not sure. So don't take my word as the end all be all. So that's all I want to say about this book. And let me know if you've read it. Or, or let me know if you've read the Little House on the Prairie series. Um, I'd like to know that as well because this is this is based on that series and kind of the before. So let me know if you've read it. So um, I look forward to doing an extra review and I look forward to hearing your comments. Bye guys.